Okay, uh, sorry for that abrupt ending there. The phone's a little low on storage, the technology. Okay, so this is an oregano. I think it's Greek, and it's uh, from last year, survived the winter. I'll just in one of my other sites. Uh, so it just shows, like, it's a very cold climate here, and we had a cold winter, but these plants did very well, and they're not perennials, but they still came back. Okay, so this is something I did here this year. I call it a bee garden. It's a piece of maple that was left around the yard for I don't know how long, but uh, no one knew what to do with it. So I took the chainsaw and carved out a bowl, made a hole for drainage, and that's the planter. And I put some anise in there, which finally decided to come up, but I got tired of waiting for it, so I transplanted this borage in there. So that's going to be very nice. And then uh, this little bowl here I carved out and lined with beeswax and that is for water so that insects can get in and I found these nice beautiful little glass beads to put in there on the sides there's different size holes all around the sides drilled in three inches deep and that's for the mason bees haven't had any yet but uh, it's still early in the season they'll start nesting in July and August Come around the front here some more wild edibles this is pineapple weed that's canadian chamomile makes a great tea it tastes really nice it smells like pineapple more lambs quarter this is um sweet clover and this makes a nice tea and has a i use it for a air freshener it smells like vanilla and it tastes like vanilla like when they're younger the leaves are good it's a little uh violet of some kind that's why i don't want it to live here so you can see here, those little zucchinis are just coming up like crazy. And you might wonder why they're just planted. Um, the rule is like this three sisters, you plant successively. You plant the corn first and then the beans two weeks later and then the squash two weeks later. So I was still deciding how I was going to put this plant plot together. If you don't do that, um, the beans will overpower the corn and the squash will overpower the beans. So it's a bit tricky. This is all wildflowers in here from a package, 12 different species. Can't wait to see what comes up. I also planted some wild licorice over there. These are the beans that got thinned out. They're all back here. And uh, right, come down to the end. I put these marigolds in to keep the nematodes away from the strawberries. And that's the big uh, rhubarb plant there. So this place was such an eyesore, and I don't want to get too carried away because it's starting to look like a, a little bit of a, you know, a little too dressy maybe for a back alley. But uh, it's coming along like th this is going to be gorgeous when all the flowers start coming up. So. Are you mean the video? This is one of my neighbors. What do you think? What do you think of the garden? <laughs> 